Hello all, it's been a long time since I made a video and I'll clear that up in a later video, but for now I wanted to make a GIF GIF out of this, but the GIF doesn't do it justice. This is basically a world aligned UV distortion. And these are some smoke clip books, and if I move them up and down they are affected by the world aligned UV distortion. You can see. And it doesn't only work for one particular sprite at one moment, but you can see closely to this one. It affects all the particles on a world basis. So it adds some real nice flair to it. If I have multiple next to each other, they would all look different. Uh, let me see if I can. It's hard to see now. Maybe I can open the particle system real quick and. Let me move that dynamic there and then just up the distortion to go to 5 or so. As you can see, the clouds are now behaving quite differently. And it should be somewhat well that both are moving in a different way. This adds some nice additional distortion to your side scroller top down game. It's a bit over the top now, of course. And if you move up and down, you can see that there's quite some difference in the movement. If that's what the smokes. I'm gonna move this one for now. And move this one around. I mean, it's only just a little bit of distortion. You can somewhat see that there's some nice additional variation now, some additional life to that smoke. And you could animate that UV distortion on world space or you can do other things. But yeah, in my opinion it can add, add some nice additional effects to it. It's a bit over the top for these big ones, but for the small one it actually works well even on this value. Let me set the value to 1 real quick. And it's a bit too much now, as you can see, you can see it on the end here. But and this is texture based by the way, so there's nothing world space affected, but you can see that it just adds some nice, really additional wavy, smoky thingy. Uh, another example that I might be able to show you real quick before I cut this video off. Is, uh, let me hide this there can also be applied to any sprite. So this is just a simple texture. And it's world space based. So if I move it up and down, it also affects that result. It's better viewable on these three though. And this will add some nice additional effect to your trails or whatever. It's a bit minimal in the texture. I can maybe up it real quick. Later one. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let me up that distortion to about three, I guess. See if that works. G. Now it's applied to world space. This distortion is a bit over the top, maybe. So let me put this one back to the value it was before I added another one because now myself I forget. Uh, this might be the better one to edit real quick. I'm doing that off monitor for now. Uh, let's see what that does. There. Okay, this shows a little bit better. Oh no, not hide. Come back. I'm a bit rusty in my <laughs> keyboard configuration there. So, yes, it's a bit out of the mesh view, but solvable in the material function. And yeah, that just adds some additional oomph to your effects if they are for side scrolls or top down. I'm not sure if it's workable, helpful for anything else, unless you have local world aligned stuff. I don't feel like setting it up at the moment. Add some nice additional effects to 
effects, especially for side scrolls, if anything. At least in my humble opinion. And well, I'll control C until everything is set up the way it was. I'm going to close this video. And on a later video, I'll explain what I've been doing the past, or not have been doing the past 7, 8, 9 months. But that's for a later date. Okay, blow us out.